What is up? It is that metal guy, 1983, and today we're coming to you with another craft beer review. This time for an unexpected turn, something we haven't done on the channel before, but it was part of the Nakazi Variety Pack. What am I talking about? I am talking about a Pilsner. Not typically in my drinking arsenal, but we'll give it a shot. It says it's cold fermented. I don't know if that's special to it or not. A cascade raindrop takes year to get here and another 57 days to brew. Taste this sweet, crisp, and complex pills and you'll agree it's worth the wait. Well, with a recommendation and a little reading like that, who am I to argue? I love their color schemes. For this, those colors, those all day, are, you know, Pacific Northwest colors. The blue emerald colors, the hops looking pretty. Did you know Washington State is one of the mass producers of hops for the whole freaking world? Not the country, the whole world. Pretty freaking cool, right? Oh, yeah. Cap drop, baby. Let's see. Dry off the hands. Every time we get a bottle, we're going to do this. Ah. That's right. Finger grip power. Yeah. All right. So here's the Pilsner. Again, get your look. Let's see if it gives us any details on here. 4.7%. I've used are even lower than usual at a 30%. So very, very, very sessionable is what that tells me. All right. I expect this to be light golden brown like Pilsners normally are. Look at that. Just light golden brown. Almost looks like cider when it's poured into the glass. Every last drop because we don't waste beer in this house. That's right. If you guys have one, crack, crack open a cold one. Have a drink with me. I'd love that. Comment down below what you're drinking. That would be awesome. Comment down below your favorite beers. Let's talk about it. Make a recommendation. Maybe we could work something out and you can send some. That'd be cool. Something I can't get around here. I'll review it on the channel and I'll shout you out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like it. You can give me a thumbs down if you hate it. That's cool too. You guys could just not watch. That's fine. If you love it, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. You can also comment down below if you don't like it and we could talk about why. And maybe I could take some constructive criticism. Because everyone has an opinion. Whether I agree with it or not, you're, you're all entitled to your own opinion. And I'll respect you whether or not it's something that's a dig or it's a compliment. Cool? Cool. All right. Smells like a Pilsner. Just that. Ready to freaking suck down scent. I'm going to take a sip of this particular beer. But because it's a Pilsner, I'm going to just slam this mo. Slam and damn and damn. Slam and damn, 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 damn. This beer down. The gullet. Just bright. It's just a bright smell coming out of that glass, as Pilsners normally do. There's not a whole lot. It is sweet smelling. I will tell you that. Sweet, bright, coming out of the glass. Now, not every Pilsner I've ever had, this is probably the best. A lot of Pilsners you're going to get, they're going to taste like piss water. Just be honest. It's not going to be great. But it sounds, and from what I read, Nakazi Brewing Company puts love into every single thing they do. Right? 
I've toured Anheuser-Busch. I've gone to the factories when I was down in California. They don't put love into every drop. These guys, you could tell that they do. Mad respect. Keep on rocking, because you guys freaking rock. That's really good. I want to savor it, but I'm a man of my word. We're going to slam a damn, damn, this damn beer right there, right there. I, you. <clears throat> and Van Dam. We got this. You ready for the big burp? Because it's coming. Thank you, Nakazi, for the freaking excellent Pilsner and changing my perspective on this particular style of beer. Keep on rocking. Oh, yeah.